Oh, there it goes. All right. Just me today. Mostly me. Brian's, uh, Brian's behind the scenes. There you are. Say hi. Hey, Facebook. We gotta Bri take care of the kid today. Yeah, Brian's on camera duty and Andrew duty because we did this at 10 o'clock because we're like, oh, Andrew's gonna take a nap at 9.30. He's gonna sleep for an hour and a half. So we'll wait a little bit as people start to come He's in. He's eating his bottle upside down. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we need him on daddy duty. Yeah, we're going to wait a couple of minutes, um, see if we can get some people joining here, and then we'll get into it. So it's football Sunday. You know, that's why I want to do this at 10 o'clock too, get it before all the games. So in the theme of football, we will be giving you our game plan for meal prep success. <laughs> Thank you. I just thought of that this morning. I'm kind of proud of it. Um, before I get into anything too, my number one tip for you is when you're, when you're meal prepping, especially if you're doing it on a Sunday, enjoy a cocktail with it. It's going to make it much, much, much more enjoyable. Um, this is actually the first time I think I've, I've meal prepped with a Bloody Mary, but I, I am, I'm hooked. This is going to be happening from here on out. Oh yeah. So do we have, we don't have the link in the, um, not in the comments description yet but in the comments at some point and then in the description of the video we're actually going to be having a great offer for you today um it's our very first ebook my very first ebook um it'll be www.kotrained.com slash meal prep easy and you will be getting a free ebook um kind of just going over everything that i'm going to talk about today including recipes so the whole point of what I want to go over today is how to make meal prep easy. Um, it's something that I used to be really intimidated by, and I know Brian was intimidated by. You know, when people think meal prep, they picture, you know, those per... <laughs> you can probably hear Andrew in the background. Hi, buddy. He's like, who are you talking to? Um, a lot of people picture, you know, perfect little Tupperware containers of, you know, grilled chicken and steamed veggies. Um, really boring, really plain, and... Um, really time-consuming and what I want to talk about today is how that is not at all how it has to be um, I'll get into this more later but basically what I have back here there's only 10 main ingredients um, not including spices or cooking oils but 10 main ingredients and with these 10 ingredients I'm gonna make enough food to get me through the entire week um, and I want to show you how to do that there's no you know fancy portioning it's casserole dishes and crock pots easy peasy um, I've said in the last podcast, I am I am no gourmet chef, so I'm going to keep things pretty simple for you because um, that's to the best of my abilities. I can only keep it simple. Um, so keeping it with minimal ingredients and keeping just the actual cooking process easy is going to make this something that you can stick with. So, okay, we got some people. Hi, Dad. <laughs> If, if any of you aren't from Chicago, um, let me know where you're from. Let me know who your football team is. They're probably better than the Bears. Got my Bears pants on today. But all right. Um, let's see. Hi, buddy. Repeat like what you're going over, so people are just drawing. Okay. Yeah, we're getting some. Ooh, we're getting more people here. Um, so again, we're gonna go over meal prep. Um, some of the big headaches that people run into that prevent them from sticking with this. I got my parents on. We need more people here. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I'm doing great. I mean, if you have also just tuned in, I am having a Bloody Mary, so by the end of this, I could be drunk. Who knows? Stay tuned. But biggest thing today, keeping this simple, keeping this something that you can stick to. Um, who is this information for? Basically, if you're someone that wants to lose weight and wants to lose weight for the long term, which should be all of our goals, you have a few options. You can either cook every meal from scratch, um, and if you have the time or the desire to do that, then, then that is awesome. Um, I don't have much for you, because um, myself and most people I know, you don't have the time, or you know, when you get home at work from at, you know, at seven o'clock at night, you don't want to make dinner. So option one, doesn't apply to most people. The kid silencer right here. The pups. <laughs> Damn the pups. Oh, he sees the container and he's like freaking out. 
Um, as we're talking about healthy meal prep, here we are with our <laughs> with our puffs. Um, okay. So well, talk about how Andrew can eat, can eat healthy as well, though. I will. I'll get into that. I'll get into that. Um, so again, if you're someone that has the time and the energy to make all your meals from scratch, that's great. Most of us don't have that. Um, option two, if you want to lose weight and keep it off, you can hire a personal chef. Um, your options for eating are either make it at home or go out and buy it. And 99% of the food that you're going to go out and buy it is not is not healthy. Um, or if you're going to places like Panera and you, and you are truly just getting salads, that that adds up. I know, you know, I, I, I love my Panera, but you know, a meal there ends up being like 10 bucks. And if you're doing that for lunch and dinner, you know, a few times a week, that is really, really, really going to add up. Um, one thing I'll talk about a little bit later is how much money I actually spent on this food and how that equates for a meal because it's amazing how cheap you know, buying this food in bulk all at one time and being able to stretch it throughout the week um, really can be. So again, if your goals are long-term weight loss and you know keeping that weight off, your third option for food is meal prep. So that's why we're gonna go over everything that we're gonna go over today. So we got a few more people here. Hello, hello. What are the common misconceptions with meal prepping? Some common misconceptions with meal prepping. Uh, that's a good question. Well, we we talked about this the other night, how you used to think that meal prep meant... The Tupperware. The little Tupperwares, yeah. And that's what I was saying before, and I remember seeing that too. You know, the, on Pinterest and on Instagram, there's like these beautiful pictures of people's meal prep, and I'm like, oh, that just looks like... It looks like a lot of work. It looks very daunting. Um, and it really doesn't have to be that way. A lot of people think that it, it's more expensive because you're buying more food at once. Um, when I'll, like I said, I'll show you today how it's not. Um, the biggest thing that I think gets in the way is the time commitment. A lot of people think, you know, I don't have, you know, a whole day to slave away and make all this food when if you streamline it, which is what I've done and which is what I'm going to share with you um, today and in our ebook, uh, www.kotrain.com slash meal prep easy, um, streamlining it and you know, sticking to the same thing every week and kind of figuring out your groove is, you know, how you're able to predict how much time you're going to invest in it. That way, it's going to be much easier to stick with. Aren't you so, giving the recipes in that? I am giving the recipes. So what I'm uh, going to get into today is how with these 10 ingredients, I am actually able to make five different very delicious recipes. Very simple. Um, but still very delicious um, and it's gonna make enough to get you through seven days through a whole week um, I did my meal prep last Sunday and today I ate my last piece of my breakfast casserole today so it got me through the whole week still tasted great um, I'm not sick of it so uh, that's what we're gonna get into today should I start getting into things yeah go ahead okay so, if anybody's just joining us, we are talking about meal prep success, um, some of the misconceptions that people run into, and how to overcome them. You're probably hearing um, a baby in the background. Andrew is supposed to be sleeping at this time, and he's not. Hi. And he's wondering who Mommy is talking to. He's confused. And more importantly, Mommy's having a Bloody Mary while she's doing all of this. So, like I said, you're just tuning in. Stay tuned. Who knows how this will end? Okay. So I might need to bring this a little bit closer, but I want to show you guys kind of what I got going on here. This is really hard to do. But basically... I can hold it. Okay. Oh, thank you. Um, I can't see that word. <laughs> I know. This is kind of hard. Okay. Um, the biggest thing that I recommend to people is when you get started on meal prep... Is when we show get, the food? Yeah, get, show the food, show all this stuff. Is get everything out. Before you get started, get literally everything that you're going to need out and ready to go. This is difficult to do. So, I know. So, we can't see <laughs> where the camera is. Okay. So, that's, we're doing our best here. Um, but basically, I have all of my food out, all of my ingredients. Not only the food, but the cooking spray and the spices. I have my knife. I have my peeler. Bowls. Whisk. Um, pan and spatula for the ground beef, both of my 9 by 13 pans. Everything is ready to go. So that is one thing I've learned is a huge time saver. Um, rather than, you know, going back and forth to the fridge, going back and forth to, you know, all my cabinets and trying to find stuff. 
it's all there, it's ready to go. Um, and a lot of these things you're gonna be using for um, multiple recipes. So you can kind of share, you know, this bowl I'm gonna use for a couple different things and it's already out, it's already ready to go. Um, Tell them again how it's 10, it's 10 for a whole, I know you already said it, but. Yeah, but that's the hugest thing. Um, it's huge just it, a word? You just, it's a word now. It's a word. <laughs> um, the, big, <laughs> the biggest thing is, um, to make this the most efficient it can be is, is to keep those recipes simple um, and to find recipes that, that share ingredients. We kind of talked about this a little bit on Wednesday, how important it is to find ingredients that overlap. One of the biggest mistakes people make, um, and, it, and it was a mistake that I used to make, is, is just overcomplicating it. It's a lot of fun to go on go on Pinterest and go on allrecipes.com and you know those tasty videos on Facebook and try and make a lot of those. But what ends up happening is you're buying so many different ingredients, you're spending a lot more money, um, and you're overcomplicating it for yourself. If you're making three or four separate things that all have different ingredients and all have different levels of difficulty, levels of processes, it it isn't something that you're realistically going to stick to and one thing that we say all the time i know we're drilling it into you is sustainable is key if something is not sustainable something that you don't think you can keep doing for the long term then then there's no point in doing it so keep it simple minimal ingredients while still getting a lot of food and one thing you might notice about this food here um, we have chicken uh, lean grass-fed ground beef eggs avocado, spaghetti squash, applesauce, sweet potatoes, onion, um, and baby spinach. All of the ingredients I'm using, um, very low grain, um, low in sugar, a lot of veggies, um, good sources of protein, and good sources of carbs and fats. There, there's no grains at all. You know, there's no, no wheat, no rice, um, which, you know, sometimes have their place, but that's a whole other, <laughs> whole other episode is, you know, why we eat this way, but keeping a low carb, high protein, um, good source of fat diet has really been the key um, for weight loss success, um, not only with us, but with, with our clients. So that's the, that's the kind of plan that you're going to be getting. Um, if you click on that link, kotrain.com slash meal prep easy, you're going to get all of the recipes that I'm making with these ingredients. Um, and a little bit more Katie's explanation on why. Katie's watching Ireland. Katie's in Ireland. Oh my gosh. I was gonna be like, they have, they have internet there? No, I watched of course they do. My personal chef to hire you as a personal chef. Sure, absolutely. This is this is easy. You can do it. You're a better cook than me, but absolutely. Um, where was I? So give us some. The, if you guys like this stuff. Yeah, for those of you that are watching, nice give us some some hearts and likes and none of none of the angry faces. If you want to do the, the laughing faces, that's fine. If you are also having a cocktail. Katie Harney, I would expect you to. You're in Ireland. Um, give us some likes. Okay. So back to these ingredients. What I'm making with all of these ingredients today, like I said, five different recipes. I will be making a spaghetti squash pizza casserole. It is delicious. It's only five ingredients, and it's so, so easy and so, so good. Before I interrupt you one more time. Well, you probably, are. Probably more, but... Donald Trump over here. <laughs> can you can you make sure to tell them like to share this information because it is so vital for people's success in the kitchen and without meal prep, I don't Hello. There you go. Without meal prep, I don't think we would be near we wouldn't be successful with what we're doing. So if you guys can share the love with this with this and um also, if you could share the, the link to Katie's recipes and how, and she breaks it down even further for you guys in like a 12 or 15 page ebook, which is excellent. And it tells you exactly how to do all this stuff. If you could just share it to your Facebook page, this live video, just to help out more people who are, I think we all are a little bit daunted by the task of doing meal prep when it's actually not that it's not, it's difficult, but it's, it's a hell of a lot it's, more successful not, doing it that way. So if you do it this way, it's not difficult. It's not difficult. I don't do it. So, but if you could share it with everybody, we really appreciate it. Give us some thumbs and some love, um, because, I, like I said, I think this really does can really help a lot of people. So, that's it. Yeah. And I'm out. And and the ebook is is much more um, laid out well than I'm being right now. It's I've been up for 
three and a half hours already, but my brain is still like uh, not working. So I know I'm like probably all over the place. So the ebook is laid out much nicer for you. Um, so back to the, the recipes we're making. A spaghetti squash casserole, um, a sweet potato breakfast casserole, crock pot chicken with apples and sweet potatoes. This is so good, so good for fall. Um, squash browns, they're like hash browns, but they're made with spaghetti squash, also delicious. Um, and avocado chicken salad. So all of these recipes will get you through the entire week. And um, <laughs> got little guy over there. And actually the little guy even likes them. So they're, they're kid approved. They're eight month old baby approved at least. So, so, you know, these are recipes that you can, you know, make for the whole family. Um, in the ebook, it's enough food for one person for sure. For two people, it would maybe get you more through like four days. Um, if you want it for more people you can always double double these recipes if you're making it for you know yourself and for a family okay um okay i'm looking at my notes here i want to make sure i've covered everything for you so the other big thing that seems to get in the way for people on why they don't stick to meal prep is is, is time so Andrew. what i say to that is Set aside a time each week that you know that you're going to be able to do this. Um, again, life throws you curveballs, um, just like you have to throw your body a curveball when you're working out. There are curveballs at workouts. Um, but life isn't always consistent, you know, as evidenced today by, you know, the baby is supposed to be sleeping and he's not. Um, but if you can promise to yourself on Monday nights after the kids are in bed, I'm going to make my food. You might have to stay up a little bit later that night, but you are saving an immense amount of time and headaches for the rest of the week by just putting that work in all at once. Um, I also recommend sticking to a pretty similar menu each week. You know, I, I mix it up every once in a while and that's okay and you should, but for the most part, if you stick to something pretty similar, you know what to expect. I know that making all this food is gonna take me about three hours. Um, three hours to not have to worry about eating, you know, making food for the rest of the week is, is a huge, you know, cost to benefit ratio there. It's worth it. Um, it gives me that extra 10 minutes to sleep in in the morning, which we all love because all I have to do is cut a piece of casserole and heat it up. Um, and it also prevents you guys from going through the drive through or you know, ordering pizza, ordering Chinese, because you've got food readily available. That's the one thing that we learned, you know, now that we're doing this so consistently, is our calls to the pizza man have gone down a little bit. Much, much, much better. Because, you know, I would make food and then by Thursday I'm like, oh, I don't want to make anything. We will have a large half cheese, half Italian beef and jardinier. Can you talk about how this gives you the opportunity to occasionally cheat because you're doing it so well during the week that you and you're yeah. making it a lifestyle and it's not a quick fix yeah so. so i don't know if you could hear brian over there but he made a really good had a really good question made a good point that if you do this consistently it does allow you a little bit of leeway to cheat so we do order the pizza every once in a while you know we went out to dinner last week um but you're making this a lifestyle you're doing it every single week so 90 percent of the food you consume is going to be healthy if you're obviously if you're prepping healthy food um that allows you a little bit of wiggle room to you know go out to lunch go out to dinner have that you know scoop of ice cream um, before bed it gives you a little bit of that leeway which which is really huge it makes us feel Same. less guilty um and sane <laughs> for sure you know one thing we always talk about too is balance you know Sustainability, sustainability, sustainability is the biggest thing to keep in mind. And in order to be sustainable, um, you do need to kind of give yourself that um, that leeway a little bit. Um, going back to time two, once you've figured out your menu and you and you kind of have an idea of how to do it, you can save time by kind of doing two things at once. So in the ebook, I really lay this out, but basically. You know, one of the first things I'm gonna do today is start cooking my spaghetti squash. Um, I'm gonna make a video on that because there's so many different ways to cook spaghetti squash, squ squash, squash, and there's one good way to do it. Um, so I'll make a video on how to do that. But while my spaghetti squash is cooking, I'm going to cook my ground beef. 
I'm going to chop some of my veggies. I'm going to start my crock pot meal because the squash takes like 40 minutes to bake. So that's plenty of time I can be getting other stuff done. Um, so at the end of the day, the time that you actually invest making things um, is going to squish down, make your life much, much easier. Um, hi, buddy. Um, is there anything else that I haven't, haven't touched on? No, I think you did, you're doing good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if you yes, haven't, if did have you put the link in the, in the comments? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you haven't, um, click the link, click the link, because it is my first ebook. I am very proud of it. I think I did a pretty good job on it, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty proud of it. Um, but it's going to give you, you know, the full grocery list. It's first going to talk about, you know, those four headaches that people, you know, that tends to be the barriers to meal prep success for a lot of people. Kind of talks about those and breaks them down and debunks them. Tells you how to overcome those headaches. Um, then I'm gonna give you a full recipe list, or excuse me, a grocery list, um, a menu, what meals you're gonna eat each day, and then the recipes, and then kind of a game plan. So again, going back to football, um, I don't just give you the recipes, I tell you what day to make them, what order to make them, um, to get the most out of your time. Um, if you guys are liking this information, if you have clicked the link, give me some likes, some hearts, if you have any questions there. Um, and for those of you that live on the south side of Chicago, Pete's Market has spaghetti squash on sale for 25 cents a pound. That is actually a pretty good deal, I will say. Um, like I was mentioning earlier, money can be a barrier to a lot of people. I got all of this food, so those 10 main ingredients um, for a total of $50. And, and a lot of what I got is organic. You don't have to get organic. Um, I try to, especially for my meats. Um, but I sent $50 in total here and I did the math and that comes out to about $2.50 a meal. That is insane. You know, I know that if I go through the drive through at Dunkin' Donuts, which I don't do anymore because I'm a really good meal prepper, um, I was spending, you know, minimum, minimum five or six bucks. Panera, like I was saying before, 10 to 12 bucks for a lunch. Going out to dinner is even more. Um, a lot of people think you know, equate fast food with, with cheap, but if you're doing it all the time, it is not cheap. So this ends up being not only efficient for your time, but efficient for your wallet. And if you're anything like me, those are hugely, hugely important. Um, and even more important than those things, it keeps you on track for your health. Um, you know, I, I feel like a broken record, but if we, if we didn't do this, um, we would, we would not be in the shape we are. Um, KO Trained is, is a website that focuses on, on health in general. We mostly focus on workouts, um, our curveball effect workouts, but you need both of these things working together. You, we say it all the time, you can't out-train a bad diet, and, and this is so, so, so true. Um, having a great diet that you're sticking to, that's sustainable, um, in conjunction with consistently working out is is really all you need to, to get that body that you want for weight loss and long-term weight consistency loss. Consistency and patience. Consistency and patience. Um, we don't like to preach the, the quick fix because that, that might work at first, but that doesn't work in the long term. And, you know, that's why, you know, we see so many people doing the yo-yo thing. So, Andrew, do you want to say hi? I think I touched on everything. Any questions out there? Um... Really? Hi. My dad's telling me to update my fantasy team. Oh, I do. I have two blank spots. Who's that, Andrew? It's Andrew. Hi, buddy. Hey, he's waving. Oh, he's waving. Say hi. Hi. Hey, give us some oh. hearts and likes if you think Andrew's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> he's got his bear's clothes on today, too. All right, did I miss anything? Did you talk about how he eats your your stuff, too? I did, yeah. It's, okay. meal, it's meal prep for the whole family. So I eat it. Brian eats it. Um, even Andrew eats it. Not everything. Um... His favorite is that spaghetti squash pizza casserole. He loves spaghetti squash pizza casserole. I might so, even have to make like a double double pitch this week. So appreciate share and yeah. All right. Um, again, if you haven't clicked the link um, for the ebook, uh, it's in the comment section, and it's also www.kotrain.com/slash/meal-prep-easy. Um, please share share this information with your friends. Share the link. Um, it's an ebook. It's free. It's totally free. So 
If you guys have any questions, um, we'll get to them after we're done. Um, and even if you're watch, tuning in after we go live, um, we'll check back and we'll, we'll try to answer any questions for you then too. So go, go Bears. They're playing today, right? I have no idea. <laughs> we are the worst football fans. Go Bears, go whoever your team is. Bye guys.